With the help of Ready BI, you can simply add all of functionality to your reports. And this is just amazing because you can give your clients the full power of the most up-to-date analytical tool. This is what your clients are certainly going to like because they can make a lot of findings within their data using online analytical processing tools. Now when we have the grid and the chart in our report showing data, let's add the OLAP components. To do so, we'll need to create a new OLAP data source. Select desktop here because our data is in the relational database, not in a multidimensional source. And then click Edit Cube Structure to modify the dimensions of the multidimensional cube. Select Audit Details to be a fact table. And then define the two measures, quantity and amount. Next. Now let's define the dimensions for the cube. Audit date, products, product name, category, category name, employees, last name, and shippers, company name. Next. Finish. Now we can see the all of data source in the list, so we can place it right away in the container. And here the new tab showed up with the all of grid. Now let's change some properties to expand it to the window. And then set up the initial state of the grid. Select the cube members to show in the grid by default. And leave the master mode. Let's take a look at the whole report. As we can see, the data is now shown in the two tabs, products and all of grid. And these tabs are connected to the same data. So if for some reason we don't want to see all the product categories, we can only select, for example, beverages and the same filter will be applied to the all of grid. The same way we could only select the range from the data. and only this range will be displayed in the OLAP grid. It's easy, understandable and very handy for the analyst trying to take some conclusions out of the data.